Hi, kids. Hi, Randy. Hi, Noah. Hi, Caroline. Yeah, you're right. It's story time. So, what are we going to read today? I have a new book. I have never read it before. It's a little longer than some of the other ones we've done. I hope you like it. It's called The Witch of Hissing Hill. There you can see the cover. It's a witch with a yellow cat on her hat. Now, I never heard of witches having yellow cats. So let's see what this is all about. Far back in hill country is Hissing Hill. It's, bare, it's a bare, lonely spot with one twisted house and a tall fir tree behind it. And once upon a time, the hill was a swarm with black witch cats. Cats arching their backs on the rooftop, cats chasing up the fir tree, cats yowling on crooked fence posts, cats hissing in every corner of the Shackley house, and all of them black, black, black. For there lived a wicked old witch named Sizzle. She had strings of black hair and long skinny feet, and she could figure up more meanness than any witch in the hills. But meanness wasn't her main business. Sizzle raised witch cats. That was her fame. Witches came from miles around to buy their cats from Sizzle. Her cats were the witchiest, wickedest, the very worst wonderful witch cats in the world. Their hisses were jagged with sharp white teeth. Their howls made the blood shiver. Their eyes gleamed yellow with hate. And definitely, most surely, Sizzle's cats were the blackest of all witch cats. Blacker than Halloween midnight, they were. Blacker than chimney soot. Blacker than the bottom of Sizzle's cook pot. Best, they knew all the wicked ways of witch cats. Sizzle taught them. She taught them spitting and scratching and scary black slinking. She taught them to cross people's paths for bad luck. And she taught them to yowl. Most of important, she taught the cats staring. Steady, long staring out of unblinking eyes. Each cat sat on the witch's hearth watching her pot of magic brew. For when a witch mixes magic, she needs a black cat to stare at the pot. It's the look from the cat's eyes that makes the magic work. That makes a spell gel. So Sizzle's cats flourished on Hissing Hill. Then came Gold. When Gold was born, her black mother backed off and hissed in horror at the sight. That's Gold, the new kitten. Her only child was yellow, not black. Oh, the shame of it all. At first she hid the fluff of yellow so that Sizzle wouldn't know. But that was a mistake, for now Gold had a chance to grow. Came the day when Sizzle spied the yellow kitten bouncing out from under the bed. Then, oh, the screaming and the scolding. The old witch was so mad that her screeches lifted her two feet off the floor. Gold's mother was so ashamed that she lashed her tail around herself three times and just purely disappeared. Gold only purred and wove her yellow striped tail around the witch's bony ankles. Sizzle's streaks were so horrible, she sailed right up to the ceiling and whacked her head. Terrible, she wailed. That cat's nice. Old Swizzle tore at her strings of hair. What if this yellow female grew up and had kittens? She'd ruin the stock. Who ever heard of a yellow-striped black witch cat who was half nice? What self-respecting witch would buy her cats? Buy witchery? Gold must go. Sizzle plopped down to the floor. Grabbing her broom, she shoved Gold toward the door. Out! Out of my house, she cried. Now Gold was yellow and Gold was nice, but she had a bit of mustard in her yellow for spice. She skipped away from the broom and with a flick of her tail, she tickled Sizzle's feet. Hey, 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 oh, ha, ha, cackled the old witch, hopping up and down to get away from the tickling. She swatted at Gold with her broom. Gold just winked one eye and flipped her tail, and the broom straws turned to yellow striped feathers. Shriek! Scream! Howl! Sizzle's very best magical broom. She would have killed Gold right there if she could. But everyone knows you can't kill a witch cat. Witch cats only get old and disappear. 
Gold sniffed at Sizzle's toes and slid her tail over them. Sizzle's feet always hurt, but Gold's soothing tail was making the ache go away. Sizzle almost purred with delight. Then, oh no, she cried. Don't come smoothing up to me, you nasty yellow cat. Just then, there was a rushing sound in the sky. Over the fir tree flew two witches on their brooms. Misery, cried Sizzle. They'll see this yellow cat. They'll never trust my stock of black witch cats. Pinching up some magic salt, she sprinkled it on gold. Hecata becata, she mumbled, chanting a hasty spell, and gold turned into a small yellow pillow. She tossed it on her cot and hurried outside. See the yellow pillow? It's right above that black cat. Cackle, whump, old witch Hagglestone landed in Sizzle's herb patch, crushing the bushes. Witch Hagglestone was a big bossy witch who didn't care what trouble she caused. Witch Flummery wavered down on her broom, making a bumpy landing. Came to pick a new cat, said old witch Hagglestone. She stomped about the yard, looking for one to suit her. Witch Flummery floated, fluttered after her. A snarl of cats were quarreling under the fir tree, and Witch Hagglestone picked the winner. He was a tough tom with fight-niched ears named Old Scratch. On a fence post, Witch Flummery found a slant-eyed Jezebel. Now would they take their cats and go, not go near that yellow pillow at all? No. The visiting witches wanted to test their cat's powers of staring. Witch Hagglestone ordered, mix up some magic. Let's see how these cats work. She started for the house, but Sizzle rushed ahead of her. Good. Gold was still a pillow on the cot. So Sizzle threw herbs and lizard skins into her pot and mixed up a brew of hate medicine. Flummery flopped down on the cot and the pillow meowed. Oh dear, Flummery cried, peering about. Did I sit on a cat? Misery, misery, whist, whispered Sizzle, for the yellow pillow was putting out a tail. Sizzle threw the pillow under the cot before nearsighted Flummery could see it. Now the pot of hate medicine was bubbling angrily. Which Sizzle set old Scratch on the hearth to do his staring job? The magical stew sucked and it seethed. Old Scratch stared at it from the hearth and under the cot, the pillow now had two yellow eyes. They too stared at the pot. At last, the brew gave a loud pop, and a hard green steam went up to signal it was done. Fine, said Witch Hagglestone. I'll take Old Scratch. Now let's try out Flummery's cat. How is she on spells? asked the fluttery witch. Sizzle felt better now that the hate medicine was done, and Old Hagglestone was satisfied. Spells are that cat's specialty, she bragged. bragged. We'll just turn day into night. The visiting witches drew in their breasts, for that was the hardest spell of all. Jezebel sat in front of Sizzle, staring with eyes like yellow moons. The witch whirled around, wove her arms into twists, and began to murmur the spell. As she shrieked the last word, she pointed a bony finger at the sun through the window. And pop! Jezebel turned into a yellow, yellow cat. So did old Scratch. The sun kept shining, same as ever. Hagglestone screamed, and Flummery hid her face in her cloak. Yellow, screeched old Hagglestone. You fool, you've made yellow witch cats. Don't you know, yellow witch cats are good witch cats. Gobbling, gobbling chants to ward off the goodness, the two witches whooshed away on their brooms. Sizzle stood horrified, looking at the two yellow cats on her hearth. Of course, yellow witch cats are good witch cats full of power, powerful good magic. Then Gold, all yellow cat again, came purring out from under the cot and wove her tail around the witch's feet. What a nice little cat she was, she was soothing away the ache. No, said Sizzle. Sizzle stopped herself. Nasty little good cat, worrisome troublemaker. She tried to kick Gold, but somehow her foot wouldn't do it. By witchery, the cat's goodness was rubbing off. Quickly, Sizzle drank a whole cupful of hate medicine. But sure and good, Gold was a good witch cat. 
and good yellow magic is stronger than bad black magic. The stare from her eyes had changed the brew in the pot. It wasn't hate medicine at all. It was love medicine. Sizzle felt a smile plump out her face. Her bony claw fingers smoothed into softness, and she reached down to stroke Gold's back. The wicked old witch had turned into a loving good witch. Then Sizzle brought in all of her black cats. She made a spell with Gold's help, and pop, 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 pop. Every witch cat turned yellow and good. The cats purred and they played and they chased their tails and all had mustard in their yellow for spice. The winks in their eyes meant magic for fun. Sizzle still raises witch cats. Yellow witch cats tricking and tumbling on Hissy Hill. Now good witches and fairy godmothers come from miles around to buy her cats. For Sizzle's good cats are her fame. But if you ever see a yellow cat purring and winking a gold eye, watch out for you never know what a yellow witch cat will do. Well, that's the end of that story. I hope you liked it. I thought it was pretty good. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you know me and Grandma really miss you, and we can't wait till we can get together and give you a big hug and kiss. Until then, enjoy the stories, and I'll try to do another one when I get time. Love you. Bye-bye.